Today's demo is going to be on text-to-speech. And what this is, is basically you type something out in your program and there's a chip that actually converts what you typed out into natural language that's then spoken out of a speaker. And in this case we're using the Winbond text-to-speech chip uh, and this board is uh, something that we got from Parallax and it, it's really fun. Uh, it's pretty cool, really easy to work with. We have it hooked up to our Magnolia sensor board through a breadboard and you can hook this up directly too but we just uh, have a breadboard to make things easier. And then we have a speaker, just a regular speaker being output out of the, the header there. So uh, you probably are wondering about the quality of the speech and I'll give you a demo shortly. Uh, it's pretty simple to put together. We just created a, a, an app on the using the Arduino and we created a, a few different sentences just to give you an idea of, of how you could use something like this. Uh, and we have the uh, we have the speech being said after a slight delay. There, it's just being said one after the other. But you could have the the speech be a result of a sensor, or the, the speech could say something, say say what the results are from say a proximity sensor or something. So there are there are a lot of different applications. You could use this in kiosks. You could use this in. Uh, you know, maybe in a museum if someone wants to know more about something and uh, you want something where you've got large amounts of data and you don't want you don't want to have a recording you want it to be really simple you know that's that's uh, another way that you could use something like this but right now let's hook up the battery and uh, once we connect the battery you'll start hearing the lady talking no parking after hours. So that was no parking after hours. Do not stand close to the danger zone. Don't stand close to the danger zone. So these are... Please deposit 50 cents. So that's please deposit 50 cents. You know, if, if you want... We are now closed. We're now closed. Dinosaurs roamed the earth during the Paleolithic era. So you know you can you we can have awesome. you can have longer things too. I mean, there's no uh, I mean that there's a limit. No parking after hours. There's a limit for the memory, but um, you can have uh, longer statements than that. So you can see here that there there could be all kinds of applications that you could use for a device like this. Um, and as you can see, it's just a regular simple speaker that's hooked up to this. There's nothing special about this particular speaker. Uh, and uh, you can amplify it as well if you want to get something a little bit louder and a little bit clearer. Um, and of course we're using our uh, low-end Magnolia sensor board which is very inexpensive and quite powerful and uh, connected directly to uh, the parallax board through a, bed, a breadboard, which you could connect directly if you wanted to, but for simplicity's sake, uh, we used a breadboard. So, hope this demo was enlightening, and um, this board was definitely a lot of fun to work with. Really recommend it, and you could use it to output all kinds of sensor readings verbally, or you can hook it up into uh, you know a coin-operated machine, or into a kiosk, or into point of sale system or just about anything. And uh, if you have any questions, send us a buzz. Thanks for watching.